some beautiful commercial institutions that we have in our area. This is one of them. They're, they're built many years ago. They have some beautiful architecture. The, the landscapes have been designed by landscape architects. A lot of the a lot of the commercial entities we tend to lack maintenance over the over the years, and that's for various economic reasons. So when we are fortunate enough to be able to to work with a customer, we can identify certain areas in the landscape. What we do is we, we come in and we evaluate all the plants, the shrubs, the trees, and then do a restorative pruning to restore the landscape so it's not only safe but cosmetically pleasing and ensures the health and quality of those plants for years to come. There are a lot of commercial settings where we are employed to evaluate and then perform pruning on the trees to restore landscapes. Federal Savings Bank here in Dover had a landscape that this has been five, six years since anything has been done. A lot of the mature trees, young trees have overgrown. We do an assessment on what the needs are, clearing away from the roof, clearing away from the signs, lights, reducing some of the sizes of the trees, reducing canopies. And basically what we are doing is trying to restore the landscape to a more of a cosmetically pleasing commercial type setting. It's a particular tree that, these, these are all uh, honey locust trees, very rapid growing. As you can see, there is a lot of deadwood, um, low branches. So what we're pruning, they're, they're, they're stubs now, but obviously after he does this final pruning, the trees will look a lot differently. Uh, we'll be able to see the building they, the lower branches won't hit people on the sidewalks, added sunlight to the lawn, and basically just provide the tree with a much better growing environment. If you can take a look at these other locust trees, these have been pruned. You can see the difference between the one that you just saw and these trees here. These have been cleaned, the canopies are high, and it provides a, a just much more pleasing atmosphere and a much more pleasing um, asset to the landscape. The birch trees were actually hitting the building, and especially when you look up the corner of the building, where they actually had some branches this size, were actually hitting the building in the corner. That's how long it's been since it, they were pruned, so we managed to do some directional pruning away from the building to make sure that the building is safe, but all at the same time to, to, to make sure that the trees continue to grow in a direction that isn't going to interfere with the building. So uh, the outside canopy is still full. You can see here Brian is climbing the tree roped in in, in, in the proper fashion and then we're just going to proceed to do some pruning. The low branches from the linden tree, the other lower canopies here, we're going to have to prune these up in order to be able to get a good view of the building, of the sign. As you can see, Brian is pruning deadwood from the, from the tree. The sign to the building. It's a beautiful, beautiful sign. Obviously, it is an important part of anyone's marketing. We want to make sure that that sign is clear. This is a beautiful viburnum that's allowed, been allowed to grow for many years. Identifying now that it has overgrown the site, 
we can actually reduce the size of this plant because it is a very hardy plant. We'll do a crown reduction on it and reshape it. Therefore, we'll al allow the architecture of the sign to become clear again. Identifying also that there are low branches from the linden trees that have grown over the years. We are pruning the lower canopy. So cars coming up Central Avenue can see the sign, can see the building. Pedestrians aren't hitting their heads on the low branches. It just provides for this, the, the whole area actually over the years has grown in. We're gonna open it up again. Parking areas are always a concern in a commercial setting. These parking, or these trees in the, in the overhang the parking areas, a lot of deadwood has formed over the years, low branches has formed over the years. Um, recognizing that this was a potential problem with the cars parked here all day long, we prune the deadwood and we prune the low limbs from these trees along this area. Now, as you can see, it's clean, it's bright, We've also allowed the spotlights on the corner of the parking lot to shine without a, any hindrance of any branches. An important part of any commercial setting is barriers from neighbors where we have such highly used pieces of property. A row of abravites was planted to protect the neighbors However, we want to maintain these abravites. These have been left alone for many years. So what we've done, we've, we've, we've pruned them back. We've actually pruned the tops of these trees to make them stronger. The foliage will promote, will, will continue to grow interior. The wood will strengthen. As you've seen from this side, these, these abravites have already been pruned. We've already done this today. Just to show you what the other look like. Now these trees have not been pruned yet. As you can see, they're very um, erratic. The growing patterns are erratic. So we want to we want to obviously take the deadwood out and then we want to prune this branches so we have a more uniform growth pattern. We want to thicken up the growth. This unfortunately this area is prone to snow plowing. A lot of snow is plowed up against these trees in this area. So as a result some of these have had to be replaced. So this is a very, but this is a very important barrier between the parking area and the neighbor. So that to take care of this area is important. We want to promote the growth of these and make sure that they're growing in a proper fashion. Row of crab apples. Uh, these were planted to provide a little bit of flowering in the uh, springtime. It provides a different texture in the plants between the abravites and the parking area. However, once the crab apples um, especially this variety, very fast growing, very hardy plant. It's a good choice for, the, for an area that is very um, prone to snow, salt, automobile use. So it's an, we call, kind of a call it a, an industrial use type of plant. Um, these two first crab apples have been pruned. You can see that they've had a cron reduction and a shape. Um, typically, uh, crab apples, as you normally would see, would be uh, very overgrown, not something that is pruned on a consistent basis. But if we were to continue with this process, we can contain these plants within this growing area and still have a very, very pleasing in a formal look to this planted area. You can see the other plants at the end of the row have not been pruned. They overhang into the area, uh, into the parking area, prone to hitting the cars. And of course, the, the light is shaded because of the plants. So we'll prune the rest of these. That'll ensure that these are conformed to the site and will have a continued use for many years to come. Our plants in a downtown setting like this are very, very valuable because there aren't a lot of them. Usually there's just a few per, per lot, per square, per every building. So when we are able to do some work or identify some of these plants and knowing that they, are, they have equity, we're able to help these plants or last for many years in the future through the services that we offer. 
through pruning fertilization, introducing knowledge through disease prevention and insect protection, we're able to make sure that these plants are going to be around for many years. There are certain little niches within, within the town, within the city, within the blocks of our neighborhoods that have more equity than others. And that's because of the designs of the landscape that were laid out years ago. And this is one of those designs and one of those unique landscapes that provides pleasure to everyone who walks down the road, who walks down the city sidewalks, drives past the building. So ensuring that that equity is preserved, we're going to make sure through pruning, through hazard tree removal, through the other services that we offer, that this is going to last for many years for everyone's enjoyment.